G'day guys, before this video starts, I just want to let everyone know it's my dad's birthday today when this video is uploaded. I want everyone in the comments to wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you. Thanks for being a great father from me and Chester and the Offshore Adventures family. I hope you have a good day. You. G'day guys, welcome to the episode. Today I'm just trying to get bait real quick. It's about 6pm and I need some yakas. I need some live yakas. I'm going for a dew tonight, a dive tomorrow, and probably a fish the next day and a dew that night. So we're doing a lot. I've got a lot of gear, dive stuff, swag, fishing stuff, everything I need. I don't really have a plan. I've got a fair bit of food, but I still want to do catch and cooks, except for probably tonight because, you know, I haven't caught anything yet, unless a big snapper comes up and takes my bait jig, which I doubt it, but it could, have, or it could always happen. Anyway, we'll see if we can get some liveies. If not, I might go in close to the island and I'll try for some squid. I really want some live bait and we'll see what happens. Ew. Come in. Yes, tiny. <laughs> okay, they are tiny yakins. What I've got here is a little solar paneled aerator. Got this from Complete Angle Batemans Bay where I work. So if you ever want to say hi, come down, say good day to me and Anthony there. And they work really well. And to keep the yakas alive, you've got to put a bit of oxygen in the water. First time using it. So it should work really well. It's not very sunny today, but hopefully it's got enough charge. It doesn't need it. So my little yakka, it's actually tiny, tiny little yakka. Got this on interval, so it's going every now and then. Stuff water in there to keep it alive. Now I'm going to catch a few more. What the hell? <laughs> no way, the lady just took one of my bait jigs. No way. <laughs> is that dinner? <laughs> I just saw this. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my god. He's not bad size. A little flatty on the bait jig, and I'm fishing over reef. See how big he is? He's 35. We'll give him benefit of the doubt, they have to be 36. Don't bite my finger, mate. I'm letting you go. Ow! Alright, see ya. We've got six liveys. I put them in this small one. One's seemed to die for some reason. So hopefully when I go over the bar, it won't splash around too much and nothing will get wet, hopefully. So I'll put them in that small one and we'll get down to the river. Then we'll put them back in the big one so they have more options. So let's go down. I'll see you guys when we get past the bar, back on the river. Ew. Perfect live bait for Jewfish. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. I'm catching a Jewfish tonight. <laughs> I seriously think I am. Alright, I've got heaps now. I'm gonna let them be. You can see this hole, this is what we're looking for. It's only 10 meters, but it should go down a bit more. It 
should go down to about 16, 17, 18 meters. So we'll just watch it. That's a good hole. There's definitely fish in there. All right, I'm gonna get a couple liveys out there before it gets dark. Get my plastic ready. Get that birdie out and just just get ready. Not probably won't set up the swag yet, but I'll definitely send some liveys out. Maybe three or definitely two at least. Got the bait runner. This thing's uncushioned. It has not caught a fish yet. Buster did a little setup for me when we went a while back. So we'll see what we can do with that double hook thing. Don't know what it's called, but <laughs> I hate livey fishing. Like, I'm definitely gonna do it still. I'm gonna be fine with it, but just like, I hate just putting them on live. Like, I feel so bad, but you know, it's fishing. Do what you have to do. Got a double hook set up on that. He can swim fine. I've made an absolutely insane dinner tonight. Sourdough, sauce and cheese, and a banana. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I forgot to get pizza. And I want to save everything else for the catch and cooks tomorrow, and maybe the night after if it doesn't rain. So I'll just eat this tonight, and then have the banana, have some snacks, and I should be all right to the morning, and then we can get on properly and catch some better fish. Now I'm going to get tucked into this. Hopefully, I'll see you next when the line's going. We are on. We are on on the live yakka. We are on something good. It's not huge, but it is bigger than the yakka that it just ate. Big head shakes. Might be a big flatty or a dewy. Hell yeah. We are on. Oh yeah. I think it's just a little soapy, but it'll be my first. Yeah, it's a dewy. It's a dewy. It's a fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on to my first ever dewy. Oh, it's, it's small, but it's my <laughs> Come here. Come here, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> first dewy. It's only tiny, but it's my first. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, an awesome fish. Get in the light a bit more. So you guys can see the silver ghosts, that's why they call them. Oh, beautiful fish. I'll quickly take a few photos of him. What a beautiful little fish. 65 centimeters, my first Dewey. Let's let her go. These bigger fish. You want to make sure you do this so they have the highest chance of surviving. She's not ready. She's going on her tummy. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on, you'll be right. Come on, you'll be right. Don't do that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah! Straight back in the net, you dumb dog. Come on. Come on. Come on, you'll be right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Good release. She will be fine. Woo! <laughs> I hope you guys are as stoked as I am. My first Jewfish. It's taken about 10 attempts for that. And I'm so happy it finally happened. I just felt today was... As soon as I saw those Taylor bust up, I'm like, I'm going to get one. And I got one. Woo! Well, that's a shame. Just snapped that when I was casting that plastic. That's my only lure rod, but it's only a $50 rod, so it's all right. I'm gonna get a better one anyway. But yeah, that sucks because I can't cast plastics anymore. Got a Jewfish, I can't really complain. Whatever, if it, if, even if the boat sinks, I'm still happy because I've got a Jewfish. Good morning, guys. So I woke up to all three rods tangled. I'm gonna have to cut the line on all three, which really sucks, but it's all right. I think it's a bit of a quiet night because Usually, the boat swings and some things get tangled. That I'll hear the drag go off, I'll, like a little bit at least, and I'll wake up straight away. But last night, not wake up at all. I had one of the best sleeps I've ever had on the boat. It's <laughs> that's not too bad, but yeah, I was surprised I didn't wake up at all. So my second battery, it's not very good. I use it at night time to have my light on, my anchor light on, um, the sound, anything I really need, because it's not that good. And if I go to start it because it's been used all night, I'm not gonna be able to start the engine. 
if I do, hit the isolator, put it onto the first battery that's fully charged, start the engine, and then go back to the isolator, straight down to both, so now it's charging both batteries, and when I need it tonight, it'll be charged all over again and ready to go. It's good to have two batteries, you know, I never really thought of it before I started boating I guess and then when you have one it's like really helpful when you especially out here at nights and you need the light or you need the radio or whatever but yeah it's good. So I'm just chucking the reef anchor out in my little spot. It's a bit harder when you're by yourself. And trying to film as well, it's even harder. So I'm burling up, I'm trying to get a gummy to come in. Snappers would be a good bycatch, but I am aiming gummies right now. So I've got one livey out, a jig out, and a pike that I caught, but it's chopped up, so I'll let a lot of smell out. Hopefully these two, the two back two, because they haven't been christened. Yeah, they haven't caught a fish at all yet. So hopefully we can get one on each of them. That would be sick and get a feed for tonight because we do need a feed. And we'll see what happens. It's always better bringing some breakfast. I like my survival challenges because it challenges me, but sometimes I just like, you know, the stress is gone. I don't have to catch fish. But I do for dinner. So it's still a little bit of stress. <laughs> Tiny little red rock on. Just had head shakes like a snapper. That's weird as. See you, buddy. There's a shark. There's a shark on the surface. There's a, I'm going to chuck this bait right on him. You'll have to get it. Oh, it's been bitten. Come on, get that. If he doesn't get that, I'll chuck the livey on his nose. Almost lost it all for that cast. Come on. Oh. Take it. You're gonna take it. You need to leave, run with it. Go on, run with it. It's a circle hook, so it could be alright. Run with it. Bronzy, straight through it. You need to grab that metal trace right now. Bit straight through my leader. Well, I've caught absolutely nothing apart from that red rock cord and lost the shark. So I'm gonna move a bit. I have to get, I have to get food for dinner tonight. So I have to catch a fish. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But the wind's pretty strong. But if we drift, we might cover more ground. Put the sea anchor out or something. Maybe slow down. But yeah, pull the anchor, move a little bit, and then just put a couple rods down and try for anything. Really, I'm happy with just any fish that, apart from like pike and barracuda, I'll be happy. So you can see my reef anchor stuck to the front, tied off at the front to get it off. Just want to reverse a bit. It's a lot easier with two people because one person can kind of say which way to go. It looks like it's come off but just reverse a bit more just to make sure. And I think it's come off. Just put it into neutral and we'll pull that one up. Got something alright. I think it's gonna be 
beat dinner, hopefully. Unless it's another Sergeant Baker. It's a big dead weight though. Little nanny, I think that's dinner. Little nanny, I think he's dinner, I'll put him in the esky. If we get a couple of them, it'll be easy feed for tonight. It's all right. I don't know why it was so heavy. Maybe he must have his mouth open up like that. Anyway, better than nothing. I think we got another nanny. This is exactly what happened last time I camped on my boat. I just caught shit fish for ages. Like little nannies. Red rock cod, but today's even worse. I've caught hardly anything. And lost a big shark. He's alright, so let's get a feed out of him. Finally, into a good fish. Yeah, good head shakes. He did do a run, but he's fighting hard. I just know it's a good fish. Fair bit of weight, a lot of head shakes. Yes. What the hell, it's massive. <laughs> well, that's one big Sergeant Baker. Okay, I don't know what good fish feel like, obviously. Cause that's not one. Well, I've been out for ages and nothing. A couple Sergeant Baker, a couple Nana Guy, and I could only keep two Nana Guy. That's what's in my history, and a Sergeant Baker bait. But it should be enough for dinner, because I've got some salad stuff, I've got some rolls, I've got some cheese, got sauce, so like it should should be alright, but you know, it's not the best day fishing I've ever been out on, but you get that win some, you lose some. So I'm gonna head in for a bit, go into the river probably, I might grab some lunch from somewhere, and uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Ew. There's a shark, there's a shark, there's a shark. Sorry, buddy. Right there. Right there. It landed on him. It landed on him. Surely he's gonna eat this. Take it. There we go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Fuck. Damn it. Another shark lost. That time I went to strike and the pressure of the shark and me, I thought I busted the hook, but it actually just ripped the fish off the hook. Another waste. Can't believe I did that. I should just let it run and just hook itself, basically. Yeah, there he is, just there. He doesn't really seem to mind about the, the boat or anything. Bit of a legend. Thanks. Thanks. Still warm. Nowadays, nothing really is ice for everyone to me, and nobody like me. So I'm bringing and I tell him it's ice. I got wifey on, bring it, she ice freeze. Kelly's on to him. That ran noise. Beautiful fish, I'll keep this guy. This is my PB. Yeah.